everyone. Welcome to Don't Put That In Your Mouth. Are we going to confuse everybody if I tell them that because our names are kind of similar? Go ahead. No, because I have to assume that if they're watching this, the intelligence level ain't so high. Hey, my name is Mark. And your name? I'm also Mark. Today we have cheddar cheese covered worm larva. Looks a little disturbing. What do you think? I kind of like the name Larvettes. Sounds kind of cute. Nope. I don't think they were born with cheddar cheese on them. Britney Spears' kids were born covered in like Cheeto dust, so you never know. I believe one of Britney Spears' children is also named Larvette. That is a distinct possibility. The container contains one serving. That's an awful lot of worms there for one serving. If this was a plate of spaghetti, then you'd be like, that's a serving? That's a forkful. Do you think you can pop this whole thing right in your mouth in one shot? I'm okay to opt out of this if you want to just go ahead and eat all of them. No, I say we roll with this. My son, you're sliding backwards down the evolutionary scale. Ten more years, you're going to be living in a cave in Montana. All right. Do you find the irony in the fact that you're going to be eating these and one day in the distant future, their ancestors are going to be eating you? I don't think that's necessarily true. It smells like nuts with cheddar cheese flavoring on them. It smells like a fresh can of tennis balls, right? Maybe a bit. This one's still smiling. At least it died happy. They are kind of cute, ain't they? I think it just hissed at me. Wachayim. Yeah. They don't have much taste. No, not really. Very light and airy. They come complete with internal organs, unexcreted fecal matter. You get the whole shebang in here, buddy. All right, here's what you have to do now. Put it in your mouth, just suck on it. I guess it's kind of reconstituting itself right in the mouth, huh? Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. I will see your dried worms, and I will raise you five worms. Wait. I just dug these up out of the yard myself. Where did you get these? I got them from my worm guy. You have a worm guy now? <laughs> what, like you don't have a worm guy? Don't put them on my counter. What? It's not like they're going anywhere. They're moving. I've been walking around with them in my pocket. It's tickling my hand. Just make sure that you chew it up good because it will eat you from the inside out. I've been eating your mother's cooking for 28 years. I ain't afraid of nothing. YOLO. YOLO. Ooh! It was kind of like biting into a big pimple, wasn't it? You know, I think I kind of liked it, though. What is that flavor? It... I believe it's bug. Yeah. It just tastes like the skin of an apple, I think. Oh, this one has, look, this one just pooped in my hand. Nice. You know what would be pretty cool? Tomorrow morning, call your doctor and say, Doc, I think I have worms in my poop. I don't think that'd be very cool, actually. Oh, they really do explode. Mm. Oh, man. Still plenty more left. Mm -mm, I'm good. I'm good with two. Thanks. I need to eat some of the cheddar cheese ones just to get the, the flavor out. After you have one of the one of the living ones, the cheddar cheese baked ones don't actually it, seem all that bad. Guys, first we'll rate the uh, dry guys. What do you think? Yeah, pretending I didn't have one that is still living and moving around and, and trying to enjoy life, I'm going to give the the cheddar cheese larva 4.9. What if you did have one of the live ones? Does that <sighs> raise it on the scale a bit, or I'd give it an eight. I think I'd give it an 8 anyway because, you know, believe it or not, I kind of like it. All right, well, you can take the rest of those with you. Well, thank you so much. Absolutely. I think I will do that. All right. How about the live guys? What would you give them? I'm going to have to go with a 2. I give them a, a point 2. I just can't get past the exploding factor. I see a spider on my curtain over there. You want to eat that too? They're going to grow and turn into, what did you say, moths? Just be happy I didn't get the mealworms. They turn into beetles. They had some pretty good albums. I'm done. I'm done. Bye. See ya. Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome to the next episode of Don't Put That In Your Mouth.